let's go through some of these problems from day one. Number one, Ben claims that 12 is a factor of 24. How can you check? How can you check if 12 is a factor of 24? Well, a quick and easy way of checking whether 12 is a factor of 24 is you see if 24 can be divided by 12. So in this case, I put 24 in the house, which is the divisor, and I see how many times 12 can go into 24. Obviously, if you have your facts down, you can see right away that 12 doesn't go into two, but 12 does go into 24 two times for 24, and there's no divisor. So that's how you can check. Divide the 24 by 12. Number two, what paired with six will give you 24? Well, if you don't know your facts well, once again, you can take 24 and divide by six. If you don't know your sixes, skip count by six. Six times one is two, six times one is six, six times two is 12, six times three is 18, six times four is 24. So six times four, these <clears throat> are factors and they're also divisors, so four. Same thing with 45. 45 divided by five, well five doesn't go into four. Skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 gives you nine. No remainder. <clears throat> so the five and the nine are factors and they're also divisors. <clears throat> Which of the numbers, 19, 21, 23, and 25, has the most factors? Well, the best way to do that is just list out the factors. 19, the factors of 19, well, 19 is a prime number, so it's 1, 19. <clears throat> Let's do 21. This is going to get a little messy here, but that's okay. How do you make 21? Well, we all know that any number times 1 give us the first two factors, 1 and 21. And then I say, is 21 even or odd? Well, it ends in a 1, so it's odd. So let's say 2 can't work. Then 3. Well, if you didn't know 21, you didn't, if you didn't know if 3 goes into 21, you just have to, oh, well, 3 doesn't go into 2. Skip count by 3. Oh, 7 times 3 is 21. So 7 and 3. So the factors of 21 are 1 21, 7, and 3. So that one's done. Let's do blue here for, for 23. Well, 23, 23 is a prime number, so it only has 1 and 23. So, so far, 21's the big winner. And then 25, let's do 25 in green. 25, let's say 1 times 25. And then it ends in a 5, so it's divisible by 5. So 5 times 5. So which one has more factors? Well, the 25 has 1, 5, and 25. And the 21 has a 1, 21, 7, and 3. So 21 is the big, big winner. 21. All right. Calculator, I'm on number five. The calculator below shows the result of dividing 84 divided by 14. So if you have 84 divided by 14, 80, that's what that means, 84 divided by 14. And it says the answer over here is, is six. What does the answer tell you about 14 and 84? Well, the six tells us that 14, 14 times 6, or 14 times 6 here, or 84 divided by 14, which is the same, will give you 84. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 plus 2 is 84. So it goes in there evenly. So it tells us that 6 is a factor. 6 is a factor. And... A divisor of 84. I'm going pretty quickly here. Is 6 a divisor of 18? Why? Well, to figure that out, we just say, is 6 a divisor? That means, can we divide 18 
into six equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six goes into 18 three times for 18. So that means each of these pieces would have three, 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 and three, which would give us 18. <clears throat> so yes, it's a divisor. But is 18 a divisor of six? This is the divisor, this is the dividend. Well, 18 doesn't go into six, so we say no. Which of these numbers are divisors of 64? Here's a trick. If a number ends in a, a two, four, six, eight, or zero, we know it's even. Two is an even number, so two will go into 64. Two goes in there 32 times. Does six go into 64? Well, if you don't know, check. You say, you say 64 divided by six. Well, six goes into six once, but it does not go into four. So we know six does not work. Eight? Well, if you know your math facts, 64 divided by eight is eight. No remainder. So this is, a, this is a winner. We've got two and we've got three. Does 12 go in there? Let's skip count by 12. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. No, does not go in there. <clears throat> and then 16, does it go into 64? Well, 64 divided by 16. Let's try it four times. So I'm going to go over here and do my math. 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2. Yes, it goes in there four times. So the big winners here, the ones that are divisors, are 2, 8, and 16. And notice that 2 goes into 8 and 8 goes into 16. Last problem. Sam knows that 3 is a factor of 24. This means that 3 times... The unknown is 24. Another way to write this is 3 times n equals 24. So you can give this unknown box, let that be represented by a letter. That's an unknown. There's something hiding underneath n. For each statement, find the value of n. <clears throat> 3 times what is 24? All right, so 3 times n equals 24. Who's hiding underneath n? Well, if you don't know, you can take 24 divided by 3. Remember, <clears throat> 3 is a factor, so this number, this number right here, is also a factor. We just have to figure out what it is by dividing. Skip count by 3. Well, 3 doesn't go into 2. 3, 6, 9, blah, blah, blah. So we know 8 times 3 is 24, no remainder. So 8 and a 3 our factors and their divisors. So who's hiding underneath n? Eight. Eight is hiding underneath n. So I hope that helps you. You can watch the video again if you need to. I went pretty quick and I kind of scratch with my uh, stylus. That's about as neat as I'm gonna be able to get it on this iPad. Thanks for listening.